Hi everyone, Lucas Gilkey here with Hometown Hero. Today we're going to talk about SB 264 in Texas, Senate Bill 264, um, and sort of why it's bad, why we need everybody to come together and help us kill this, and why this needs to go away and it's horrible for our industry. So we're going to talk about that right now. Thank you for joining us. So just to be really clear, House Bill 1325 passed in Texas in 2019. It provided very broad guidelines for the entire hemp industry within Texas. So now there are bills being filed to sort of try and clean that up. But the reality is they're, they're not doing some of these bills like SB 264. They aren't even properly addressing stuff that is already covered in 1325 and doesn't need to be readdressed. So the, one of the big things that the author of 264 has neglected to even address and apparently doesn't want to address is the fact that you don't have to be 21 to buy hemp derived cannabinoids in Texas. This is something we are actively trying to address. We voluntarily age gate. We encourage all of our partner stores to age gate. If you buy products through our website, you must be 21. This is something that we believe very adamantly about in Texas and the author of 264 is refusing to even acknowledge that Texas has no age gate. You don't have to be 21 to buy hemp derived cannabinoids in Texas, which is a bit crazy. And it's not being addressed in that bill, which is one of the main things that should be addressed in that bill. And it's being neglected. Um, 264 does nothing about out of state sellers. As an out of state seller, when we sell in other states, we register in those states. In Texas, there is no requirement for out of state vendors to register. So this leads to a variety of problems, right? Um, you've got companies selling products in Texas that nobody knows who they are, what they're putting in the products, where they're coming from, how to even hold them accountable, right? Like we're required to do full panel testing within Texas because we're registered. So if a company doesn't register, they don't have to do full panel te testing for the benefit of the consumers. Some of this stuff just doesn't make sense. Uh, passage of SB 264 would create a robust black market. Um, one of the senators referred to us as a cartel a few years back in the last legislative session, right? So one, we aren't a cartel. Uh, we're an American owned company in Texas. And so what 264 would do would essentially put the black market cannabinoid market back into the hands of the cartels. Is that what we're really trying to do here? Is that what we really want as Texas? Uh, 264 lacks a basis in science and lacks understanding of basic hemp agriculture. This is basic stuff that the author is neglecting and failing to understand because of a prohibitionist stance. Once the prohibitionist stance has been taken, which it has in this case, nothing else really matters other than trying to outlaw these products. So it's really a grasp at whatever is possible, throw whatever you can against the wall, shotgun blast it and see what sticks and use that to try and get rid of us. And that's essentially what's happening right now. Uh, Texas residents face far greater danger and peril from illicit substances than what SB 264 purports to address for a federally legal product. People don't die from these products. There's very common products that you can buy at your grocery store that people die from every year. This is a, the hemp derived cannabinoids are widely sold across the US. There are no deaths. Nobody's dying from these products. They're helping people. Um, SB 264 is based on a false premise, which opens the state up to lawsuits. They're misusing the term synthetic. They don't understand what that word means or how to use it properly. So according to the bill author, the hemp cannabinoid industry is a quote rogue industry. So now you're seeing their narrative change from us being a cartel industry to a rogue industry. Uh, we see no evidence or evidence of a rogue industry. There's nobody hiding. There's nobody trying to do this in private. We're very public about what we do and who we are. Um, you know, some questions that we have, how many businesses have been uncompliant with the Texas hemp regulatory standpoint? Um, who are the non-compliant companies? What enforcement actions have been taken? DPS inspects and routinely, routinely tests for product accuracy. Our products are consistently taken by government agencies and tested and we get those test results and we find out when they do it but our products are consistently being tested in addition to our own full panel testing. Um, no one has died or become seriously ill. FDA adverse events reporting shows less reports about consumable hemp products than marijuana and significantly less than toothpaste. Toothpaste is harming more people than the products that we sell, yet they're trying to outlaw it. There is no public health emergency regarding hemp derived products. However, far greater emergencies exist. 
there are dozens and hundreds of different things that are more harmful than hemp-derived cannabinoids. And yet here we are fighting again because politicians take a prohibitionist stance and they're very anti-cannabis, they're anti-marijuana, they're anti-hemp. And, you know, this is a hundred-year-old narrative at this point. You know, is anybody listening? Don't think so. But in the same breath, it's important for us that we fight this and we make everybody publicly aware of what's going on. SB 264 is an attempt to kill the hemp-derived cannabinoid industry in Texas, and the bill needs to be stopped. So I wanted to give everybody quick input on this. This is something that we're constantly getting calls about right now and asking to do a video on. So we wanted to give you the information that you need. We highly recommend, don't take our word for it, go read SB 264. Look at what's in it, understand the bill and understand why we believe it's so bad and you'll immediately see that this thing needs to be killed and it needs to be killed quickly. So as always, we're here to help. We're gonna continue to fight in the legislative session on your behalf for the stores, for the consumers, for everybody. Thank you for joining us. And that's our quick notes on SB 264. Happy hunting.